Hello, class. Mr. Stone here. A problem this afternoon. It's a angle problem, and it's find the values of angle X, angle Y, and angle Z. They give you a proportion type thing to tell you that angle X is 5, angle Y is 4, and angle Z is 6. Okay? So what this really does, you know that a straight line is 180. Okay, so what you really have to do is take the five, let's get this pen going, pen, regular. So the five, four, and the six, what are they at? So let's see, 15, okay. You know the whole thing's 180 degrees, so let's see how much each one of these units is worth, okay? So we'll take the 180, divide by 15, and it's, let's see, 1, 15, 3, carry the 0 down, you got a 2. So each one of these units is worth 12, okay? So what I'd do here, I'd actually take the 5, the 4, and the 6 times 12, times 12, each one of them keeps the proportion the same because we're multiplying them by the same thing, Okay? 12. We're multiplying each by 12. Okay? So equals, equals, and equals. So let's see. 5 times 12, 60. 4 times 12, 48. 6 times 12, 72. Now let's put numbers to correspond with this. I should have done that first. So we get the X is 5. So X, Y, and Z. X, Y, and Z. So, really, these are answers. Let's square them off so the teacher knows, hey, this is my answers. And that's all there was to it. But you see how we kept the proportions the same just by multiplying times the 12, each one of them? Nothing changed. So, it's the same proportions. The 60, the 48, and the 70. And that's all there was to this. So, like I said, on all problems, just step back and look at them and say, hey, what are they giving me? What do I know? And let's see how we can solve this. And that's all there is to it. And remember what I always say, math can be fun. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.